What is up, you guys? Dennis Garcia here. How the fuck is everybody doing? I am doing great. I'm currently laying in bed. It is 1.21 in the afternoon, and I'm also filming with my iPhone camera today because I didn't want to grab my camera from uh, up there. So I figured I would just it would just be easier to film with my iPhone. High quality content for a high quality day. Um, no, but seriously, I have been laying in bed all day. I fell asleep kind of late last night. The last couple of days I've been sleeping. Uh, why do I always burp? Every time I fucking film a video, I'm always burping or doing the fucking most. Um, the last couple of days I've been sleeping at a decent time. Uh, for some reason, yesterday was just one of those days where I couldn't sleep on time. And I've been trying to get the courage to shower and get ready for the day, even though there is nothing to do. Um, psychologists say that during, uh, I don't want to say depression episodes, because I'm not really depressed, but this honestly just feels like a really long depressive episode. Um, they say whenever you're like, you can't get out of bed, or you feel depressed, or you feel sad, or you feel anxious, it's always good to just kind of force yourself to shower and get ready and the smallest victories of the day are usually the most important um and i've just i've been struggling with those uh battles those victories today um i've been eating a lot which is unusual for me now that I'm like at home <laughs> all day, every day, I am literally either doing one of two things, one of three things. I'm either exercising, which is nice because it's healthy for me, it makes me happy, it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something for my day. Um, I'm either sleeping because I'm bored and I've already exercised and as much as I would love to go out and exercise more, it is hot in Phoenix, it's getting hotter by the day, and summer is almost approaching us, and um, I, the sun hurts when I go work out. My, my body hurts of sunburns and bright Phoenix sun. Or three, I'm eating, which is what I've been doing lately, is just eating a ton of fucking food. I mean, not as much as I would say is eating a lot i guess i'm eating what a normal person would eat which is like a breakfast and a lunch type of situation i only eat once a day i have been eating just once a day since i was in high school um it's just something that i've done my entire life and especially um since i started living out on my own with my first boyfriend um we were pretty broke and so we could only afford to eat once a day and i don't know it's just it's kind of been a habit um of my life that i just eat once a day and i'm 28 now i'm in a pretty good place in my life i can afford to eat more than once a day but i i, I choose not to um but the last couple of days i been eating a lot more than I would usually do like I just had some hot pockets and some popcorn chicken um, like two three hours ago and now I'm about to cook another <laughs> uh, two hot pockets and um, popcorn chicken because I have nothing else to do so I am cooking this uh, popcorn chicken that I got at Target it is literally one of the tastiest popcorn chickens that I had ever have had that I have ever had had um, and I usually like to eat my hot pockets with like boneless wings but every boneless wing that I get um, is usually like disgusting and soggy and the chicken is like rib meat which is not my favorite type of chicken meat I don't even know if that's chicken meat I don't know what rib meat is but I don't like it and so I was at Target with my brother a few days ago and we saw that they had popcorn chicken and I was like, hey, I could just use this popcorn chicken. I have a big old thing of barbecue sauce at home. What if I buy the popcorn chicken that is made from like 
actual chicken breast. Actually, no, I'm lying. This is also made with rib meat, but uh, I don't know. It tastes different. It doesn't taste like the packages of like Tyson's barbecue uh, wings or like TGI Friday's barbecue wings. And uh, I don't know, I've been enjoying it. So <laughs> I'm eating the rest of it right now. Um, I also bought a lot of stuff at the grocery store, which was nice. I bought like stuff to make pasta and hot dogs and um, chicken and rice, which is my go-to uh, lunch whenever I'm on a diet. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I wanna get back on a diet, but like, during this quarantine and during this pandemic that we're going through, a nice tub of ice cream and some candy and some chips and cookies, it's very comforting, you know? It's, it's a very comforting feeling to like open your pantry and find comforting junk food, which I, I haven't, I don't usually eat junk food um, for the last like three years since I started my workout journey while not as like, hardcore as I would like like I don't go to like the, the gym and like lift weights and like I don't actually run um, I do do five miles a day or at least try to I try to at least exercise at least five times a week if I can um, sometimes I'll do like seven days a week if I'm like really feeling it but at the most I try and do five but I usually do like five miles a day um, walking slash jogging and uh, I, I cut a lot of like junk food out, so I didn't really eat like cookies and candies and chips. I still drink like Dr. Pepper and you know, my sugary drinks and stuff like that. But when it came to like snacks, I would never buy myself or indulge in like junk food. Um, and recently, like over the last month, I've been buying a lot of like candies and <laughs> chips and ice cream and i know it's bad but like during this time it's just been really comforting to like eat like shit um but i feel myself i feel bloated like i feel like i look fat and like bloated and i don't know it's weird being in this like quarantine bullshit like I'm still off of work, which is nice. I'm off of work for another 12, 13 days, for another 13 days, another two weeks. And then I might go back to work. I don't know what the situation is. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with like COVID and all that stuff. Um, but I'm hoping things will return to normal. A lot of people are saying that like, it's only gonna get worse over the course of the next two months. Um, luckily and unluckily, Arizona is one of the hottest states and they say that the, the virus can't survive heat. So Arizona is going to get hot in like a week or two. Um, so I'm hoping that at least the cases here in Phoenix won't be as critical or as massive as they've been in other states it just it sucks it sucks that whenever i film a video this is what <laughs> i'm filming about but this is our lives this is what we are living in right now and um a lot of people are going through it i know i'm going through it um my mom called me yesterday and she was like crying because my aunt called her and told her that she had the flu and she sounded really awful over the phone and she had like a dry cough and my mom was like freaking out and she was like, you need to wear a mask. Your aunt probably has um, the coronavirus and you need to take care of yourself when you go out and exercise and blah, blah, blah. And like, I'm a very introverted person. I don't hang out with people. I don't see people besides my own family. Whenever I go on exercise, I, 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 I'm not around people, so. I don't know, and then my brother came over yesterday, my older brother, because I had to pay him rent, and um, he came to pick up the money. And he came into the apartment with like a mask on, like, I totally get it, I understand. 
the situation and like people are paranoid and people are freaked out and a lot of us who are younger are um, more susceptible to the virus and things are just things are just going a little bit crazy and people are going a little bit crazy and I'm trying to not let it affect me because I'm susceptible to depression and anxiety and it feels like if I allow everybody around me to make me feel scared, then I'm going to weaken my mind and my body and my soul and my immune system, which in turn is going to allow the virus to attack me. I've been very strong-willed lately um, whenever I feel like a bit of like not sickness necessarily but whenever I feel like tired or exhausted or I feel like I'm gonna come down with something I say nope not today <laughs> not today Satan not today I get my ass up I take a shower I get ready I try not to let my mental health take a toll especially not during this time because mental health during this time is like extremely important because we're all stuck at home we're all like frustrated and we're anxious and and a lot of us are becoming depressed because we're stuck at home not doing anything and a lot of us aren't being paid for being stuck at home and a lot of us are stressed and worried and wondering where our next check is going to come from and that's a really scary thought but you can't let what is going on in the world take a toll on your mental health because once that is out the window your body is going to start shutting down and failing you and i am not allowing that for myself because um i don't want to die yet i i still have a lot i want to do in my life and uh dying is not one of those yet um but yeah guys i just i kind of just wanted to have a little low-key video today nothing too grand nothing too like flashy and edited no fancy music just me unshowered unfiltered and fucking gross and with some cute ass underwear though i got these underwear at um target they're by the company goodfellow um and they're like some of my favorite underwear i have to have they're a little expensive they're like six dollars a pair but um i like to go and get them when they're like on sale for like two three dollars but i'm gonna wash some dishes because i need a cup for my soda and then um i'm gonna eat i'm gonna shower i'm gonna watch some youtube videos and then later on i'm gonna go work out but i really really hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves i hope that you guys oh that looks ugly um i hope that you guys are like staying home uh, if you're going out if you are an essential worker i hope that you are taking care of yourselves, taking those precautions, washing your hands. I hope all of you are washing your hands. Um, <laughs> it is crazy whenever I go out and like exercise, I like don't want to touch anything. And then sometimes I'll like forget when I'm out exercising, which like, how can you forget that we're in a pandemic? But I don't know, sometimes my mind is like somewhere else and I'm like exercising and I'll press the uh, button to like cross the street. And I'm like, shit, I just touched the street button who knows what's on this button and now I can't touch my face. Um, yesterday I was out for a, a jog and I was like trying to cross the street and I didn't press the button and the light didn't change. So I'm like, okay, press the button. And then as I was exercising, I was like, ooh, my nose itches really fucking bad. But I heard that's like the worst place that you can touch yourself whenever you have like germs in your hand. It's like your nose is where like the the, the virus goes in through like your nose and eyes and mouth and shit. And so I was like fighting back tears, like having an itchy nose and not being able to scratch it. It was fucking, <laughs> it was insane. Don't judge me. I, it's almost gone. Don't, it's, I live on my own. I live on my own and I, nobody else drinks my soda. I'm the only one who drinks my soda. So like, don't judge how I'm drinking my soda. Oh my god. I love Dr. Pepper. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go now.
I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I know it wasn't like anything um, super fancy or like super edited, not color graded. Like I'm literally just recording this on my iPhone, and it's literally gonna go up onto YouTube right now. So either you enjoy me and my random thoughts, or you don't watch it or don't. So nothing much I can say. But um, stay safe, guys. Stay home. We're gonna get through this together. We're going to go back to regular life normally. Um, I can't wait to go to Pride at the end of the year. Hopefully, if all goes back to normal, I can go out again. I was never like a going out person, but like being in quarantine and not being able to go out to like a bar to go grab a drink or like a club, <laughs> I'm really missing having somewhat of a social life so um hopefully once this is over i can go to pride hopefully i can get this body ready for pride because i'm not happy with what's going on here uh, also my hair is probably going to be longer by the time that time comes and my facial hair is going to be longer i'm letting all this grow because i miss my long hair and i miss my facial hair but I want to go now. I want to go eat. I hope you guys are having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.